Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, head coach Ross with the Attacks Gym, Street Warrior, in Gia Uhuru Kipura. Of those of you, of, like all those who follow me know, uh, in Gia Uhuru is a Swahili term. It means the way of freedom. And Kipura is uh, the Kikongo term, the correct word that was mispronounced in 1712 as capoeira and and uh, diluted into the cardio capoeira we see today, the dance-oriented, exercise-oriented uh, practice we see today in Brazil. Listen, what is this video about? Hey, this video is in response to that, that horrible, horrible scene that happened just recently in New Zealand, uh, the mass shootings. And listen, I'm really annoyed with the self-defense uh, industry. It's our fault. This stuff is happening that is our fault. But first, I'm going to let you see what's going on you know, with the, the the news, so you know exactly what happened. So check this out. Here's what happened. We want to get right to that breaking news, an anti-Muslim terror attack in New Zealand. The prime minister there is calling it one of the nation's darkest days. A gunman attacked two mosques while hundreds of Muslims were praying. The man who is claiming responsibility and charged with murder is an extreme right-wing white supremacist who live-streamed the attack, saying it was aimed at immigrants. Security stepping up here in the U.S. That's a live look at the Islamic Cultural Center right here in New York City. So here's what we know right now. At least 49 people were killed, 48 more wounded, multiple IEDs discovered attached to vehicles, and three people are now in custody. Our senior Okay. That is a travesty and it should never have happened. There are some of you, I have to get right at the self-defense uh, community here. Some of you who think the way that you've been doing. I 100% believe that it is our fault, it is our responsibility to ensure that the average person has the life-saving skills in this whatever self-defense system that we practice. In this case, uh, in Gia Uhuru Kipura, being the modernized version of Kipura, literally uh, has to deal, had dealt with this type of thing and assault for centuries. So we have a lot of self-defense skills and techniques that 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 deal with this situation. Uh, and I'm going to show them to you. You know, uh, the, the first part will be dealing with the 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 gunman or uh, or gunwoman as he or she enters the area. You need multiple reliable self-defense. Uh, oriented gun disarms and they look like this I put this video up years ago all these videos you're gonna see have you seen them? I put them up years ago I've been warning about this for years but look this is what this is what the one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, some of the one-on-one -on -one gun disarms that I have already up on my instructional she will show you how to do it. and it will help save lives in these situations Dislocating my thumb, and I let go of the grip. I have no more grip on this weapon anymore. If, he's, if he actually kicked me in the face, that's. You know, I, I'm ready. Days and gone, and then I got a gun put in my face. Okay, this is what you do when you're dealing with the drive-by. All right, it's head coach Ross of the Attacks Gym uh, in Gio Uhuru. He's going to do. Uh, I've been asked to do this by guys many number of times, sent me plenty of emails, and people in class have asked me about it. So I'm going to show you an impromptu expression of this. I want to show you how to use our basic movement skills, the Nyani Rahisi, the Tumbili, the Insimamu Oshosi, and the transitions to avoid gunfire, to prevent yourself from being shot by somebody who's pulled up in their car, stuck their gun out, pretend my finger, pretend my finger is the gun, shooting out at you as you're walking. I'm going to show you how to transition through the basic movements we teach you so that you won't get shot. You're walking here, the gun comes out. Most people will teach you right away which is wrong, okay? They'll teach you to drop straight down. You're dropping into the bullet. You don't do that. You just play using, it's very important, 
using the knowledge that you acquire from the spiritual systems of Africa, specifically Ifa, Santa Rea, Candomble, uh, and, and, the, and the related arts, and combine it with our fighting systems, you will learn the lessons from the Orishas, Eshu, and Anansi, who you need to know to avoid these kind of assaults. Because your cordial capoeira teacher doesn't know this, he, she, or they can't teach you anything authentic, okay? So again, I'm gonna move here. Just to make certain here that the van and what have you is getting away. You're walking here, the, 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 he sticks his gun out, and the first thing you need to do is move away from the weapon. And as you just place yourself on the weapon, you transition, keeping your eye on the target. So that tells you what the next movement is. Usually, you move to where the blind spot of the car is. So you'll transition here and move, staying low, and now right here, if the camera can see me here and they come from behind me right here, right in this angle right here, see where I'm at? Right here, where they can't move. This is where you're safe. And you continue moving off of this angle. So once you hit that angle, you just simply transition, keeping this as your next weapon, and then you can stand and go in opposite directions. Because he cannot, he cannot reverse to shoot you. Even if you look out the back window, you're not there to be seen. The structure of the vehicle prevents you from getting sight, seen, and shot. The second motion, you know, you're walking, you're using the width and the breadth of the car to protect yourself and moving so you can't see. If you move out here, maybe he can turn around fast enough to shoot you. But if you keep the car between you and him, as you displace yourself, he can't shoot you. Especially if you're using your hands to displace yourself. And then you reverse so he can't back the car into you. Some people will shoot and miss and then they'll try to back the car into you. You simply go back in this direction you keep running. All right? So the third, MC Mamo Oshosi, <clears throat> the archer. You get caught completely slipping, totally by surprise. Walking and shoot, you're like, oh, and you immediately drop right down here. Once you get to run here, you transition. You know, any one of the movements here that you need to, and you're safe. But the key is that you use the basic positions to prevent yourself from being shot. You don't drop into the shot, you displace and then drop away all at once, okay? If you have any questions or comments, please leave them at the end of this video and we will be able to expand upon that. There's still more of the video, so don't hang up yet. I wanna show you what it looks like from inside the video. I mean, I mean, inside the car. But I want you to know that we respond to all the videos I put, on, I mean, all the questions I put in the comment section. And also, if you want to learn how to do this extensively, please go to my website, Attacks Gym Street Warrior Capoeira at googlesites.com. Please go check us out. We have whole instructionals over an hour long on just this, 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 uh, this little piece of information alone. So now, what I'm gonna do is, my friend Kadu, who's carry, taking care of the camera right now, he's gonna go inside the car, and you're gonna see the, the perspective from inside the car, how quickly you disappear, as soon as the weapon is, is pointed at you, or even you have the inkling that a weapon is being pointed at you, okay? All right, you'll see it in this next shot. Okay, so now you're inside the car, and I'm walking here toward you, and you're the bad guy, you're gonna shoot me. Uh, my friend KD is going to use his finger to, to point at me. Next time I'll use the prop gun, but it's spontaneous, so work with me, okay? He's going to use his finger to point at me as I'm moving. And the first action, I'm going to use translate. See that? I did not point the finger again. Point the finger again. I did not do this. You're dropping to the shot. The first, what you do is when it comes at you, come on, point at, when it comes at me, you're walking, you displace. You go the opposite direction of the gun. You displace, and then you disappear. Can you see me? Look, here I am, way back here. Okay? I'm so far away that you can't even see me. You have no chance of shooting me. That's the Nyani Rahisi. The second one is the Tumbili. All right, so I'm walking here, and he points at, whoa, he displaced. See that? Disappeared again. Let me show you again. Walking over here, he displaced. Oh, oh transition. Way over here. <laughs> now, the third one is the MC Mamo Shosi. So you're walking again, and the gun comes, you displace immediately, and you drop. And it looks like this. Come here, you're walking, you see him, you displace and you drop. You immediately disappear. See the difference? 
Those are the kind of things that your cardio couple waiter in yesterday doesn't know, can't show, because they never learned the authentic art. You come and train with me and my family, we'll make certain you learn these techniques and, it'll, and it will protect you against criminals with or without a gun. Plus it's a great workout and a lot of people will stop and watch you like they're doing over here in the parking lot and they'll say how great you are, alright? So if you have any questions or comments, please leave it at the end of this, of this uh, video. Please come and support us at the website at Taxi and Street Warrior Capoeira on googlesites.com. Thank you very much for your time. Please be safe. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Asante sana. Ashe. Okay, listen. Now, I've been warning about this kind of thing for years. For those of you who've been following me, you already know. I've been warning about this kind of thing for years. It is not the fault of the victims. It is not their fault. It is our fault. Meaning those of us who who uh, focus on, who, who's, who's, whose expertise is self-defense. We know that any kind of competent self-defense training will make you a harder target for some kind of nutcase who's coming in and trying to shoot you. It doesn't matter what color you're from, you are, it doesn't matter what religion you are, what, what nationality you're from, none of that matters. What we're looking at here is some criminal, some nutcase, either some extremist, racist, or, or political ideologue, whatever, some, oftentimes a combination, that needs to be stopped. This person and these kinds of people are scourges upon the rest of us decent human beings all right and like and like those of us in the self-defense industry know if you are a hard target even a hardened target because let's be honest the average citizen unless you're in a state like brazil where every I mean, excuse me in like israel where everyone is forced to uh, undergo compulsory military training or wakanda which is a thousand times even a thousand times better than israel ever would be uh, unless you're in an environment like that, the average citizen is not going to be a hard target. They're not going to do it. There's too many of them, and, they have to, and there's too, it, the situation, the government, the country is going to be too large and too unwieldy for such a thing. But what you can do, and what we can do in the self-defense industry, is we can disseminate enough knowledge to make the average, uh, the average citizen a harder target, meaning they're less likely to, to freeze and panic under these kind of circumstances because they've drilled in these kind of inf these kind of skills like fire drills like we used to dr deal with fire drills and 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 uh, uh, uh severe weather drills when we were kids we were taught to do this when we were kids so now when these type of things happens an earthquake a tornado a fire we know exactly what to do we respond uh from years of drilling and doing the right thing that's what we need to do for self-defense in general and that and is that is that is directly upon our shoulders those of us who are in the uh, self-defense industries and most especially it is upon the shoulders of people who are like me who uh, who know in Gia Uhuru Kipora that has spent literally centuries dealing with these kinds of things because the uh, slavers used to come in to you know to our empires our 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 slave quarters, our our states, our nations, they would come in shooting out of nowhere, riding horses uh, uh, or in ships, you know, uh, firing cannons, firing rifles, and we had to respond on the spot to these kind of situations. They were extremely good at it. So good that it took over 5,000 years for us to fall, and then we only stayed for, uh, falling for 50 years before we, before we reversed the tables on everybody. These are the kind of information, this is the kind of knowledge that has been modernized and refined and advanced specifically by me, head coach Ross for the Attacks Gym Street Warrior in Gio Uhuru Kipura, and my family and those who study in Gio Uhuru Kipura uh, with me in order to help you. So that wherever you are, so that you are not victimized, harmed, damaged, etc., so on and so assaulted, etc., so on and so forth, by these kind of nutcases. All right? Listen, you need to subscribe to my channel. You need to. Uh, go to my website, purchase the purchase uh, the ebooks and instructions there. My website is googlesites.com slash the tax team street warrior couple. What are the links at the end of this video? Hey, how you doing? Hi. All right, all right. And uh, you need to follow my blog, Capoeira That Works is on Blogger. Okay, I mean, this is what you need to do because not only will this help to save your life, you could be in a position where, let's say, you're not even get shot at, but someone else is. You can help other people. 
and then you want to share this information with your friends on social media so that they can acquire the skill set and they can be then a force multiplier help say helping to save themselves and helping to help helping to save other people all right we cannot allow these nutcases to to continue to terrorize our lives we can't let that happen now you know the responsibilities on you